G'day guys, Luke here from Tech Blokes, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the CX True Wireless from Sennheiser. So, um, I've got a fair collection of in-ear wireless headphones now, and uh, this is the new one to the collection. And uh, I'll be honest, I was really, really excited about picking up these headphones because um, I'm a huge fan of the Sennheiser brand, and um, for a really, really long time, I actually used these ones here. And these are the uh, CX3s, and they're a wired headset. And uh, really, really love using these. They're very, very comfortable. They sit in my earlugs um, really well. And I can basically use these for hours at a time. Um, exceptional clarity, uh, really good bass response. And uh, for a pair of headphones that cost about 50 or 60 bucks, these have been my go-to for a really long time. So when Sennheiser announced that they were doing the CX True Wireless, I was really excited. I was like, yes, um, you know, hopefully the sound and the quality that comes out of these True Wireless matches what I was getting with these guys. And for the most part, uh, they definitely do do that. Um, they're not perfect, but they are very good. And uh, here in Australia, the price point is $200. So. In the US, they're $99, and I think for that price, in the US, they're exceptionally well, uh, well priced and they're good value. However, here in Australia, at $200, there are quite a lot of options now, so uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But what I wanna do, I'm gonna talk through all the things I really like about these headphones, uh, and a couple of niggles and things I don't <clears throat> that I don't like. But um, as a whole package, they are very, very good. So let's jump in. We'll go through all the things I do like. I've got all my notes over here on the iPad. Okay, so the first thing is they definitely have the Sennheiser quality. So what do I, what do I mean by that? Well, Sennheiser really are known for exceptional clarity, uh, very good bass response, a very nice sound signature. And I can definitely say that um, after using these for a pretty solid two weeks, uh, they definitely live up to that hype and that um, that kind of benchmark that Sennheiser has. And uh, I really do enjoy listening to all kinds of different types of music genres with these. So anything from rock to like uh, heavy to, um, you know, even like, you know, dance and house music and uh, podcasts. Uh, very, very good sound signature. You can actually change the sound signature in these, which is really cool. I'll show you that in the app in just a moment. But um, for the most part, when you get these straight out of the box, the sound signature is very, very good, and I like it a lot. The battery life figures uh, with these are very good. And uh, when I seen you know, the official stats, uh, I was wondering if maybe they could you know, basically topple my Samsung Bud Plus. And uh, look, I'll be honest with you, I, I haven't been able to kill these in uh, one sitting because I, I can't sort of listen to headphones for more than two or three hours at a time. I have to take them out and give my ears a bit of a rest, but battery life has been extremely solid. I haven't even charged these in the two weeks that I've had them. So um, if battery life is a priority for you, this is a major go. You know, in the words of Flossie Carter, this is a major go. So battery life is very, very good. Uh, let's talk a little bit about noise cancellation. So these do not have active noise cancellation like you're gonna get on something like the AirPods Pro. They are a passive seal. So when you when you take them out and fit them into your earlugs, like plastic or silicon tip creates a seal inside your ear. And for the most part, it blocks out um, all background noise. You know, if you've got a jackhammer next door, um, or if you've got someone doing construction work, you're probably gonna hear a little bit of that, but at a medium volume, it will block out most sound. So uh, while I do love active noise cancelling and I really appreciate the quality of the active noise cancelling on something like the AirPods Pro, um, I, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's, it's really about sound quality and these definitely um, do live up to that standard. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the actual sound signature. So for me, this is a very full sound. So they don't sound tinny, they're very rich, they're warm. Um, I've always found with Sennheiser earphones, even with the wired ones like these, they take a little while to almost like break in. 
Um, I remember when I first got these, I read a lot of reviews. I had to essentially um, let these go for like two weeks, listening to different types of music to get them to break in. Um, similar with these ones here, I had to basically, you know, go a full week of listening until I could really appreciate all the detail in these. And that's really how I would describe the sound in these particular headphones. It's very detailed. I can hear a lot of the mid-tones. I can hear a lot of the highs. The bass is very well balanced. You can alter that inside the app. I'll show you that in a sec. Straight out of the box, I put them in and instantly I could almost tell that they were Sennheiser because I've used Sennheiser for so long um, and I really appreciate the, the sound quality that Sennheiser produce. Okay, now with the headphones themselves, the this little section here is touch capacitive. So all your touch controls are on here. It's not a physical button. You essentially just tap it for play and pause. Uh, you triple tap to go back a song. Um, one thing I really like, and I wish something like the AirPods Pro would do this, is you can hold your finger on this button and it will gradually increase or decrease if you hold the left one. Uh, the sound volume. It's a very handy feature, especially when, say, like your, your phone's on the wireless charger. Being able to control the volume is a real win in my book. Um, the touch controls are really good, very responsive. I've had no issues. Say, for example, the Galaxy Bud Plus, I find they're a little bit too sensitive. These are the sweet spot. Um, they work very well. Just a, a tap here, you know, just a nice gentle tap, and they'll respond instantly. Another cool thing is inside the app you can actually alter what the touch controls do. So you know if you want to have a long hold for Google Assistant or if you want to have a long hold for volume or something like that you can actually change that. So that's a really cool feature as well. Uh, in terms of Bluetooth range I found them to be very good. Um, I can leave my phone or connect to my MacBook Pro and I can essentially walk around most of the house. The only time I really have had any issues is when I've gone like three or four rooms away and there's like, you know, a couple of walls, some, some concrete or some bricks or something, and they do start to cut out, but um, they connect straight away. The Bluetooth connectivity is awesome. As soon as you flick open the case, put them in your head, they do connect almost instantly. It's probably the fastest connection I've ever seen with a pair of um, Bluetooth headphones. So I really do appreciate how quickly they connect. Uh, sound quality, uh, sorry, call quality. Uh, this is a bit of a mixed bag for me. Um, I've only made a couple of calls and, you know, I'd probably compare them to the Galaxy Bud Plus. So they do, you can see here, I'll bring this up nice and close. You can see there are a couple of sound holes for the microphones to pick up your voice. Uh, it does a good job of picking up the voice quality. There's another at the top there. It does a good job of picking up the the voice. However, I just for me the gold standard is the AirPods Pro, and these don't topple those. So I would say you're probably not picking up a pair of Sennheisers for amazing um, call quality. You're picking them up for the music quality and audio quality. But uh, these do a good job, there's no issues. You know, you probably um, won't have anyone saying that you sound like you're underwater or anything like that. The call quality is totally acceptable and um, I have zero complaints. It's just not quite to the same level as the AirPods Pro, so just be aware of that. So guys, you can tell that there is a lot of positive things to say about the Sennheiser CX True Wireless. Great battery, great sound quality, uh, great range, they connect quickly. There's a lot of really good things there, but there are some things that um, I feel are missing and uh, you know, just, just things to be aware of. I don't think they're massive deal breakers, but I wanna let you know what they are. So first thing is, for me, the actual shape and the size of the earphones. So when these are in your ear, you know, my ear probably comes to about here, the edge of my ear. So there is a fairly big lug that sticks out. Now, in-ear true wireless headphones are pretty common now. You know, you go for a walk to your local shopping mall or, you know, shopping strip, you're going to see people with AirPods and Samsungs and Jabbers and, and Bose and all the different types of headphones sticking out of their ears. 
these for me just stick out just a tiny tad too far um, and with that the the probably the major thing that um, I think for me that these won't become my daily drivers is the the overall shape unfortunately as much as I love the sound quality and all the other great features the actual size of these earbuds they they unfortunately push on the side of my ear uh, where they rest so not not the internal section of my ear not the ear lug but on the outside of my ear um, they they just rest on that section of my ear which gives me quite a lot of ear fatigue um, I can generally listen for about an hour and a half two hours before it starts to become annoying but these are the only pair of headphones that I have ever purchased wherever where I've experienced that so it's something to be aware of you know here, here's the thing about wireless in-ear headphones some people will have no issues with what I just um, you know what I just told you you know they have a slightly bigger ear area and these won't give them any ear fatigue and then they might get ear fatigue on the the section that this rests on the silicon tip so everyone's ear is a slightly different shape so different pairs of headphones will essentially be more comfortable or more uncomfortable so it's just for my personal preference my um the shape of my ears they just rest uh on the outside of the ear area and just it causes a bit of ear fatigue which is a little bit annoying for me so one other thing which is a bit of a bummer and i think for this price should have been included and that is wireless charging on this case so there is no wireless charging uh, you only get the usb type c connection at the back whilst there is no wireless charging they do charge quickly and i do appreciate that you can stand these up plug your cable in the back and charge the headphones at the same time you know with something like the airpods pro uh, they when they're resting flat like that you have to like pick them up plug the cable in i just i just like how they sit flat on the bottom and you can essentially just leave them on your desk like that you can even pull your headphones out while the charging cable is still in and everything um, isn't sort of like falling all over the place so i appreciate that yeah there's no wireless charging it's a bit of a bummer but um i actually don't don't think that that's a deal breaker for me personally and then the only other thing is the price so they are 199 here in australia and at that price you can get the galaxy buds plus um i've seen the airpod pro the airpod pros at 290 dollars so 90 dollars more you're kind of getting something that can connect to multiple devices it's got wireless charging it's got update uh, updates to the software etc etc um, and you're getting into the apple ecosystem the only other thing that's a small gripe is the connectivity so you can only connect to one bluetooth device at a time that is kind of annoying uh, when you are working at home you know you're taking zoom calls you're working between your mobile phone you're, you're watching training or you're doing something on your computer what you have to do to move between those devices and I'm going to show you this is you have to go into the app which is this one here uh, yeah let's just turn that on I'm on airplane mode at the moment this wouldn't normally come up but I'll just show you this anyway once you have moved to another Bluetooth device, connecting back to the, the like a different phone or like, you know, going to whatever, it, can be, it sort of becomes a real pain in the neck. Like you, you kind of have to like go in and then you got to reconnect and disconnect and forget this device and whatever else. It just becomes super annoying. And I, I feel like they could probably change that with a software update to the bluetooth hopefully i don't know for a fact but i feel like they could in saying that once you are connected to the device the actual settings inside here and what you can do is actually pretty good so what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video quickly pair these back up and then show you some of the stuff you can do inside the app Alrighty, guys so i was able to get these to reconnect um just so you guys know, if you have issues connecting them, just take them out. You can see there's a little blue light down the bottom there and it will reconnect inside the app. So this is the app. 
you can see it's got the battery percentage. You can select your equalizer. Um, I found podcasts to be really good for when you're trying to hear nice clear vocals uh, in your music. Even though this is sort of like a podcast preset, um, I found that to be really nice. So up the top here, you can actually change the curvature. You know, you've got your bass, you've got your mids and your trebles. So you can, you know, slide those up and do whatever you want, set your own preset and have that saved. I actually think that's a really cool feature. Uh, in the settings, you can change the auto power off. You can change the codec. Um, different devices will have different codecs. So my Apple devices will have a different codec for music and my Pixel here has its own codec as well. What I will say is they sound almost exactly the same. I was wondering if maybe the new Apple Music with lossless and you know Dolby and all that stuff would sound better. I'll completely honest, they sound almost exactly the same. So yeah, don't worry too much about that. Um, the voice that you get for the uh, like when you turn things on and off is actually really cool. It's um, very natural; doesn't feel robotic in any way. Um, you can see you can actually change the voice prompts, etc. So what I was talking about before with paired devices, you can go in and you can see I've got three in here at the moment. So I've got Pixel 5, MacBook Pro, and the iPhone 12. Here's the problem. They don't switch conveniently between those three devices. So if I finish on my Pixel 5 here and then I want to use these on my MacBook Pro, I have to come in, turn that off, go to the MacBook Pro, turn that on, turn Bluetooth on on the MacBook Pro, and then connect. I'm sure with a, a couple of tweaks to software, Sennheiser can get this as a very smooth transition. But um, having something like AirPods Pro where you can quickly and easily move between devices, um, it's just, it's so convenient that when you don't have it, you really do miss it. Now, here we go. This is the controls. So as I mentioned, you can change these to whatever you like. Um, so tap one is pay and play and pause. Tap two is next track. Tap three times is the assistant. And tap and hold down the bottom there is volume up and volume down. You can change all of those. And uh, very convenient. I love when uh, in your headphones give you that option because when you don't have it, um, it can be a real annoyance because you get used to, you know, holding for volume up, for example. So there we go, guys. That's my review of the CX True Wireless. Here's what I'll say. I really, really like the sound quality of these headphones. It is um, just so clear. I don't know how to explain it other than to say it's just crystal, crystal clear. If you really appreciate detail in your music, these are the headphones to pick up. What I will say is right now here in Australia at $199, I just, I, I can't recommend it. I think what you'll find is they'll probably drop to something about 129, 149 here in Australia. And at that price, I think they're a great buy. Right now, I think just, just wait. Unless you are a massive Sennheiser fan like I ha have been and, you know, using something like the CX-3s or the CX-2s, whatever, I think just hold off. The, these are the kind of headphones that Sennheiser will probably do like Black Friday deals on and, you know, and like, online specials and stuff like that and if you were to pick them up for say just over a hundred bucks they're really worth the money um just be aware like i mentioned um they for me personally just give me a little bit of ear fatigue because uh i think the shape of my ears um just kind of rest on these outer borders here so that's probably the only thing um to be aware of so that's pretty much it, guys. Fantastic headphones. Sennheiser has absolutely nailed the audio quality in these. And you'll, you'll go and look at reviews on YouTube and everyone's saying the same thing. Audio quality is absolutely on point. Just missing a couple of key features like wireless charging, but overall, very, very uh, competitive headphones. And um, I'm just really glad that Sennheiser has brought uh, audio file sound quality to... Uh, in-ear headphones. I think it's fantastic. I haven't tried any other in-ear headphones like the Momentum 2s or anything like that, so I can't comment on those, but I really do like these a lot. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.